In this video, we have a brand new RC car that's supposed to do 60 kilometers an hour. We've got a GPS and we're going to find oh, out what? if it really can. And then we're going to take it to a skate park and see how well it bashes. And we're going to play with a mighty X Max 2. Oh! Want to make some extra cash so you can buy more toys, quit your job, go on more holidays, or maybe build a monster truck? I've got you covered. Check out my course in the description and I'll show you how to make 100k profit a year. Guys, in this video I've got a new RC car. This is the XK Driving Evolution. Ah, humble Wumble. Subscribe. Check it out guys. So the body shell's got this protective film on it and I'm going to leave it on there for now because once I get it all scruffed up I can pull it off and it's going to look like new again. So in the box you obviously get the car, radio, battery, charger, instructions but you do need to supply your own AA batteries for the transmitter. Oh, right, let's have a look to see what's inside. Oh my god, check out the size of that motor. So this is a 550 size motor and as a comparison these Tamiya's only come with a 540 so this for a smaller car has a much bigger motor than this. So looking at size, here it is compared to a 1 tenth scale, this one here is a 1 14th scale and there are some nice parts on here, so we've got threaded aluminium shocks, we've got some other aluminium parts, aluminium chassis, aluminium braces, steel drive shafts and turnbuckles, but I'm not going to bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm just going to put a link down below to where you can buy it and we can get all the the babble. So to charge it up you plug that into there and the other end into a USB port. So they say this thing's going to do 60 kilometers an hour which is 37 miles per hour and we got a GPS so we can test it. So I don't think I've ever had any cars from XK so this is going to be the first but I've had a couple of helicopters and so far I'm really impressed. So if the helicopters have got anything to go by then I'm expecting this little car to be pretty good. I mean looks wise what do you reckon guys? Give me a note in the comments how much would you give this out of 10? Oh right all charged up also going to be taking the x max i'm going to be running these on the zop power lipos this time i'm only going to run it on 6s so two free cell lipos so it's going to be a little bit slower in this video uh, but sometimes it's a little bit more fun when it's a bit more controllable and also if you want to know about all the other specifications of this truck and where you can get all the upgrades from and the truck there's going to be a link to all of that lot down below oh my god what? How fast is that steering? <laughs> Guys, I think this is going to be pretty quick. Not sure if it's going to be that quick, but in a minute we're going to find out. Alright, less waffle, more action, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Here we got the mighty X Max. The diff is still clicking. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so let's see if this one. Oh, he made it.
Oh, what's going on? Oh! Oh, tumble wumble. That's a good launch. You like that? Yeah, <laughs> oh. Maybe the switches came off. Oh no, switches. Oh. oh. All right, guys, I think that might be it for today. It's kind of, it's either got something in it and now it's freed up again. It's almost as if there's something in there. See, now it's fine. I don't know. I'm going to take it apart and have a look. I was aiming to clear this fence. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. oh, what a landing. 
That's gonna look wicked on slow mo. <laughs> Guys, if you remember back the first time we come here, I hit that and I landed on top of the railing and it put a hole in the bottom of the chassis there, look. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, what happened? Man, that's gonna look crazy on slow motion. That has landed on the body. See if the x max can rescue its own body. Only running two wheel drive at the moment. Front dipper's had it. Actually, the whole front bulk has had it. There we go. So this x max is over two years old now, probably about three years old, but it's still going strong. It's probably one of the most reliable RC cars I've ever had. So this x max it needs a new bulkhead. It's long overdue. It's got all stress marks in it, and the whole front end was kind of bent up, and it's kind of just sort of push back into place with this cap here diff slipping so it's time i replace it i have to parts so that's going to be done probably on a live stream a uh, link to my live stream channel is down below and then as for this one i'm not really sure what's up for it i was going to whip that cover off in a second have a look but there's something in there binding up jamming it up and i'm guessing i don't know i'm gonna have a look in here first hmm so the gears in here look fine so uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with it so it must be something inside one of the differentials hmm so the rear diff looks absolutely perfect and it looks really well made look at that metal construction ball race bearings metal out drive cups the old input gear in there is looking good as well so maybe it's in the front diff so before we take out the front diff i'm just going to take the pinion gear off and to see if maybe it could possibly be the motor oh that's good isn't it oh look i broke off the end of my allen driver so that must go to show that they're using some pretty good screws in here but anyway guys i'm pretty sure now that it is the motor because look, I turn that there, and that just locks up solid there, and I can definitely feel that's on the motor. And even, I can't really do it one handy, but once you get it to that position, you can still rock the spur gear. So it's definitely the motor that something's gone wrong with. So I've got this brushless motor here in this Meccano Lamborghini, and the idea of this was to do a destruction derby, and then slam it full speed into a wall, and just to see what the damage is, see it all fold up in slow motion. So once we've done that experiment, and yes, I've got to do it, I've been saying it for ages, we're gonna take out this motor and put it into this one here. And looking over it quickly to see if there's any more damage, the chassis is still perfectly flat. I mean, you might see a little bend up here at the back, but that's how it comes out of the factory. So most RC cars, they've sort of got a kick up at the front. This one here's got the same one on the back. The shock tower has a slight bend on the top there. That's not really affecting its use at all. And I probably could straighten it out or hammer it. But other than that, guys, I'm pretty happy. The thing is, when you're jumping these RC cars and you're landing them onto concrete, uh, it is such a shock and such a blow to everything uh, that you're just bound to sort of break bits of magnets off or break electronics or anything else. Now I think that's partly why the Traxxas x Max is also tough and why the servos and all the electronics last a lot longer in the x Max is that they've got a plastic chassis. So when you land these things hard, there's a lot of give in between the floor and the chassis where it can all flex and kind of sort of protect everything. All of these cars have got a flat metal chassis. When that bottoms out, it's just like everything is just getting so much abuse. I mean, you just... It's just a matter of time and stuff's gonna go wrong. Even with the armor Creighton, I mean, this thing is a beast now with all the upgrades on there, but the same with that, you land it onto concrete, it's just chassis smash on the concrete, all the electrics, they just, it really takes it out on them. So stay posted, guys, and there'll be a video on upgrading this very soon. So don't forget, guys, if you wanna know where you can get one of these cars from, there's gonna be a link down below.